The five-year anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting is Saturday. Since the tragedy, there has been a push to help those in the LGBTQ community. Fox 35's Matt Treza shows us what one group is doing even after a setback. Orlando Zebra Coalition is set to turn this former hotel into housing for at-risk LGBTQ youth. They say the governor's denial of $750,000 in funding for them won't stop that mission. It is clear to us just the first few days of Pride Month, the message that this governor has sent to our kids and, our, and to our community. The Zebra Coalition says 18% of America's homeless kids are in Florida and 42% of them identify as LGBTQ. Because now the kids that we're sending this message to or that the governor has sent the message to are going to need housing and we aren't supported in that effort. We're trying to build something that is important for our community that we need to do because kids are out on the streets. Other LGBTQ charities were also hurt by budget vetoes. The Orlando United Assistance Center lost $25,000 in funding. But one family is stepping up to help them out. Fred and Maria Wright lost their son Jerry in the Pulse tragedy. They're pledging to match funds of up to $25,000 for any donations to the center. We ask you to join us. Please give to the center. They were counting on that money that was denied to help and support those still battling with the trauma and the injuries of the Pulse attack. The governor's office responded in part that Governor DeSantis has advocated and secured a significant funding increase for community-based mental health resources statewide, which can and will be distributed to organizations that serve the LGBTQ community, but is not limited to LGBTQ-focused organizations. The Zebra Coalition says this hotel will provide housing for 35 at-risk youth, and they say they're going to move forward with that mission despite not getting the funding they were hoping for. In downtown Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.